We honour our wonderful Dr. Jose Valdivino, always with us on our journey. Many of us know him from working tirelessly at the Casa. And some believe that he was a legal judge, a doctor and a surgeon in his past lives. And his energy is especially powerful for healing wheelchair users, those of us who have problems with our spines, uh, any back problems or any leg problems. He is particularly good at all of these issues we may have in these physical bodies. And so many miraculous healings have been recorded when Dr. Valdivino has commanded a wheelchair user to walk or move their affected limbs. And I personally used to have to dodge these crutches coming flying uh, across from the main hall uh, many, many times. So he's such a strong, beautiful, compassionate, loving entity. And crutches and wheelchairs were discarded very often when he was present incorporated in Medium Chua's body. Healings occur with just the command and touch of his hand. And many refer to him as the protector of families. And he's very, very helpful in dealing with family issues, which we all have. He always cautions us to never expect love in return, to give because we want to give. And we always remember it is in giving that we receive. And very often he used to put his hand out to welcome us. And there was such a personal touch with Dr. Jose Valdivino. He brought many of us to tears with his amazing love and compassion. So we are in great hands always with this marvellous entity of light and love available to us 24-7. And it is noticed that he encouraged us always to cleanse our souls through a constant state of prayer, to forgive others and to ask to be forgiven. So like many of the entities in the Casa, Dr. Jose Valdivino works with the Christ consciousness, the teachings of our brother Jesus, to love our neighbours as ourselves and to forgive ourselves and our brothers and sisters, always and in all ways. So let us, with this majestic high vibration, turn to our brother Jesus and ask him to help us in these turbulent days on earth. To alleviate all of the suffering of humanity. And there just seems to be a lot of problems that are insurmountable now. But God is with us every step of this journey. And we need to trust, have faith and believe in this beautiful high vibration that is available to each and every one of us as we reach out with a contrite heart and ask for help knowing that it will be given to us usually not in the way we would imagine, thus helping us all to surrender to the will of God. Thy will be done, not my will. And let us pray with open hearts, trustingly, without ceasing, joyfully, happily. The Lord's Prayer translated from its original Aramaic, the language of Jesus and Mary. O birther, father, mother of the cosmos, you create all that moves in light. Focus your light within me. Make it useful. As rays of a beacon show the way. 
Create your reign of unity now. Through my fury heart and willing hands, your one desire then acts with mine. As in all light, so in all forms. Grant what I need each day in bread and insight. Subsistence for the call of growing life. Loosen the cords of errors binding me as I release the strands hold of others' guilt. Do not let surface things delude me. Liberate me from what holds me back from my true purpose. From you is born all ruling will, the power and the life to be. The song that beautifies everything as it renews from age to age. Truly power to these words. May they be the source from which all of my actions grow, sealed in trust and in faith. And so be it. Amen. As we turn now to our Divine Mother, Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. Our beautiful brother, Dr. Jose Valdivino, had a profound devotion to Mother Mary very often getting glassy-eyed when the Ave Maria came on the tannoy in the casa and always encouraged us to pray to our Divine Mother Mary to help to alleviate the suffering of all of humanity and to go on the inner journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the faith the hope, the love, the forgiveness, the gratitude, the abundance, the humility deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all carnish and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Our mother, who is the void that creates all matter. Let we be one. Let we be one. Let we be one. Nourish us every moment through the power of now. Help us elevate our often wounded and fearful hearts to the purity of love and compassion. Shield us always, enfolding us in your starry night sky. And deliver us from judgment and separation. Amen.
course is unfolding exactly as it needs to. And there is a lot going on on this tiny little planet we call home for now. And we see so little with our physical eyes. Our spiritual eyes help us with our insight, which are the eyes of the soul. And some of you may remember this picture of Dr. Jose Valdivino superimposed on Medium Joao's body doing an intervention physically in the main hall of the Casa. This was before digital cameras. And Dr. Jose Valdivino is physically manifested. And there's no coincidences, no accidents. Everything is interconnected. Today is Maha Shivaratri. A Hindu festival celebrated annually in honour of the god Shiva. And this day and night are so spiritually significant, held with such importance in the yoga traditions because of the possibility it presents to spiritual seekers. Maha Shivaratri can help us to open our third eye. On this night, the northern hemisphere of the planet is positioned in such a way that there is a natural upsurge of energy in a human being. This is the day when nature is pushing one towards one's spiritual peak. In the Hindu tradition, the night-long festival of Maha Shivaratri is celebrated to allow natural upsurges of energy to find their way outwards and upwards. And one of the fundamentals of this festival is to ensure that you remain awake with your spine vertical throughout the night. Not that we're asking anybody to do this. But today, the planetary positions are such that it is most conducive for pe people to seek out our spiritual nature and raise our energy to its peak. And because of this natural upsurge of energy through all of our chakras, particularly opening our third eye, there are many benefits if we are awake with our spine in a virtual posture all night long. In general, from being just a biological entity to becoming spiritual, what is needed is an upward movement of energy. One of the biggest steps in the evolutionary process for an animal is to move from a horizontal to a vertical spine. We as humans on Earth are the only creatures with a vertical spine. And Maha Shivarati is very significant for people who are on a spiritual path. It's our chance to elevate ourselves up into the cosmos. It also holds special meeting, meaning for people who are in family situations. And by making use of this natural upsurge of energies with the right kind of mantras and meditations particularly today we can move one step closer to the divine so there is a method to the madness if you like of us sitting upright in the current with our spines erect so the energy can move from our base chakra right up through our spiritual eyes and out through our crown chakra. 
and with the very high vibration of Dr. Jose Valdivino, who does extraordinary work on our spines. Today is a great day to connect with all of these traditions, Hinduism, Christianity, Islam, realizing that we're all interconnected, all part of the same shining web, the God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names. And we're reminded time and time again that as spiritual beings having a human experience, when we heal the physical body, our spiritual body gets healed also. And scientists will tell you that the universe is made of matter, but we know that the universe is made of love. Love is all there is, love never ends, and we are love and we are light. So let us pray. It is not your back that hurts. It's the burden. It's not your eyes that hurt. It's the injustice. It's not your head that hurts. It's your thoughts. It's not your throat that hurts. It's what you don't express or what you say with anger. It's not your stomach that hurts. It's what your soul does not digest. It's not your liver that hurts. It's your anger. It's not your heart that hurts. It's your love. And it is love itself that contains the most powerful medicine. Amen.
is a universal house of love. All creeds, all colours, all belief systems, and in particular those without belief, are welcome here. No being is discriminated against. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. white, red or yellow. We are the rays of light, light beings working with the very essence of our being, becoming lighter. And as we work with this majestic high vibration of Dr. Jose Valdivino, we learn that he was Moreno, chocolate colored skin, beautiful, different and also 
also the same. The human condition. It doesn't matter what we look like. When we are liberated from these physical bodies, we will all join the source merge into the light, our very essence. And we need to teach our children this. Children are the future. And we need to lead by example. And our beautiful Joseph Aldovino is the protector of families. And we all come from some sort of family, big or small. And we were all children once or twice. And we never ever forget that we're all children of God. As we honour the child within ourselves and the children of the world as we shift dimensions into a bright new earth paradigm of love, forgiveness and light. A life in your hands. Children live with criticism. They learn to condemn. If children live with hostility, they learn to fight. If children live with fear, they learn to be apprehensive. with pity, they learn to feel sorry for themselves. If children live with ridicule, they learn to feel shy. If children live with jealousy, they learn to feel envy. If children live with shame, they learn to feel guilty. If children live with encouragement, they learn confidence. If children live with tolerance, they learn patience. If children live with praise, they learn to appreciate. If children live with acceptance, they learn to love. If children live with approval, they learn to like themselves. If children live with recognition, they learn that it's good to have a goal. If children live with sharing, they learn generosity. If children live with honesty, they learn to value the truth. If children live with fairness, they learn justice. If children live with kindness and consideration, they learn respect. around them. And if children live with friendliness, they learn to find love in the world. Amen.
vibration of our beautiful brother, Dr. Jose Valdivino, who looks after so many of us with back problems, spinal problems, wheelchair users, sciatica, leg problems, and also the protector of families. And there's a lot going on today. It's also the festival of Maha Shivaratri, as we celebrate with our Hindu brothers and sisters. Let us be open to receive now. To put our intention into opening our third eyes, to see with the eyes of our souls, more and more. As we relax into our physical bodies, our hard work is over. Let us take a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in the future. With all of its hope, its promise, its awareness, its generosity, its love, forgiveness, peace, harmony, gratitude, coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood, one family. And let us breathe out the past with all of its problems, anxieties, fears, separateness, anger, pain, hurt, rage, any grudges or resentments we may be harboring. Let us hand everything over, surrendering to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, unburdened, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you. And bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on Earth. To release, to let go. To step into our very power, our essence, love light. As we raise our vibration, we naturally in turn raise the vibration of the entire planet. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling, and there's so many of our brothers and sisters feeling suicidal, depressed, desolate, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps. They need to be liberated now. We're all children of God, no exceptions. One family. Brothers and sisters in the light. And anyone who is suffering at the mercy of extreme weather, snow, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, famine, drought, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's bring mediums round to this high vibration. And anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light. Extending this beautiful cleansing, healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, let's share a bounty with the world. There's much more than enough love and light to go around. Bringing this high vibration into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now on Mother Earth gushing forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders, into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, anywhere, everywhere, our brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry. This God light penetrating all war zones, 
Anywhere yeah. there's riots, unrest, disharmony, fighting, conflict. Bringing peace in our lifetime, not only for us, but for future generations to come. St. Greg is always with us. To God, all things are possible. In this sacred moment, this miraculous high vibration penetrating the consciousness of all of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to realize our very essence. We're all children of God. And let's start simply by putting people before prophets. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy gushing forth into all of our ecosystems. Regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth's already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. Majestic, miraculous, high vibration enveloping Gaia. Earth and heart have the same letters. The opening of our hearts is our mission on Earth, and we are all receiving a heart transplant. Say yes to this. Growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings. Carnage and disincarnate, all creatures, great and small. As it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings. With or without bodies, all of God's creatures in all universes, be happy, healthy, aware, generous, be in gratitude, come together in brotherhood and sisterhood, be mindful, faithful, trusting. Joyful, abundant, and be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever growing current of love and light. Amen.
this majestic high vibration now that we are receiving from on high into our open hearts, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing with everything we need and more for the earthly journey. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, connecting right across the globe in this sacred hour or so, this wonderful collective consciousness, one family under the banner of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. As we realize that we're all children of God, no exceptions. And we're learning to live by faith and not by sight. And to brace each other, all of our differences together, realizing that we're from the same essence, our source is the same. And when our earthly life is over, we will go back to the source. So let's help and support each other as much as we possibly can. And thank you God Almighty for sending all of your messengers of love from all creeds, all backgrounds. So many angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, elevated spirits, unseen beings. And these Phenomenal entities of light and love. So many. And today our wonderful brother, Dr. Jose Valdivino, with us every step of this journey. Very good for those of us who are challenged with our walking or any back or spine problems to unblock anything that's stopping the energy flowing through us right to our chakras connecting us with the higher powers and of course reminding us that as the protector of families we're all part of the same family, the God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names. In celebration of our oneness, as well celebrating the Hindu festival of Maha Shivaratri, we join with our brothers and sisters to honour this connection with our true home in the celestial fields. And thank you for always sending our beautiful brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, and the entire Christ consciousness. And our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, who was Jose Valdivino, revered and was dedicated to and had great trust and faith and encouraged us to pray to her for help. Their sacred hearts are beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence and to realise that life is short. And we're just walking each other home. And one day we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields where there's no more pain and no more suffering with all of these holy beings. How great is that? And to you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the paths, for time and time again dedicating yourself in this sacred hour to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. Letting go is growing up into the light, the very core of our being. For your dedication, your commitment, your courage, your patience, your hope, your faith, your love and your light. To be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Love and service. Faith moves mountains. And your faith.
fate is healing you, your family, and your friends. Your extended family and all of those around you. And Mother Earth. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts are changing the world forever. For the better. Light workers. Rise up. Now is our time. Be the change we need to see in the world. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Stay elevated. United we stand. You're doing an amazing job. Congratulations and thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, trustingly, without ceasing, joyfully, happily. as we celebrate our oneness. Behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. Within you, all you need. You came into this world with enough light to find your way out of the darkness. Enough strength to conquer any battle. Enough kindness to save a soul. Enough love to shift a planet. Now why do you still stress? You are equipped with all you could ever need and more. Look within. You are drenched in magic. Love, loving, love.